In this problem, we're asked uh, to consider a soccer goalie kicking a ball, uh, and it says the ball takes six seconds to land. Um, so the total time that the ball is in the air is six seconds. Uh, that means the time that it's rising is three seconds until it gets up to the apex, and then the time for it to get from the apex down would be three seconds as well. Uh, we know that the ball landed 65 meters away in the x direction, uh, so we label that d sub x equals 65 meters. Now, we're asked what the initial velocity uh, and the angle of the ball that it was kicked at. So we're going to need to consider what the initial velocity uh, component looks like and break it down into a vix component and a viy component. So, now at this point I think we'll be able to figure out what our initial velocity in the x direction is. Uh, because the initial velocity in the x direction is going to be equal to the distance it travels in the x direction divided by the total amount of time it's traveling in that x direction. So the distance it traveled was 65 meters and it was it did that in 6.00 seconds. So our initial velocity in the x direction works out to be 10.8 meters per second I believe. So now we need to consider uh, what the initial velocity in the y direction is. So I'm going to choose to use the formula VFY equals VIY plus AYT. Now if we consider the time that it's rising and we consider the final to be at the apex, the final velocity in the y direction is going to be zero so we can get rid of that. Rearranging that whole thing to solve for VIY, we get VIY equals negative AYT and we plug in our acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.81 meters per second squared and our time of three seconds because that's the amount of time that it was rising. So our VIY works out to be 29.4 meters per second. So now I'll go up to my diagram here. I'm just going to label uh, my VIX as that 10.8 meters per second that we found it to be and my VIY uh, is 29.4 meters per second. Now we're asked again what the angle is. So I'm going to use the inverse tangent function and do the inverse tangent of my opposite, which is my VIY of 29.4, and divide it by the adjacent, which was 10.8 meters per second. Using my calculator, I find out that this works out to be 69.8 degrees. So now I know my launch angle here is 69.8 degrees. So the last step in this, uh, this first question is to figure out what the magnitude of the launch velocity was, uh, or in other words, the speed. So I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, rearranging it to solve for just c by itself, and I plug in my legs of my right triangle as 29.8 meters per second and 10.8 meters per second, and uh, crunching these numbers in the calculator, I figure out that my initial launch speed was 31.3 meters per second. So labeling that on my diagram up here, we know that the initial launch velocity was that 31.3 meters per second at 69.8 degrees relative to the horizontal. Now, moving down below, we're asked how high the ball reaches. So they're asking the displacement in the y direction. I know my average acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. And I know that my initial velocity in the y direction is 29.4 meters per second because we found that before. Choosing an equation that involves these variables, I come up with VFY squared equals VIY squared plus 2AY dy. So if we consider uh, when the final velocity in the y direction is zero, that would be at the maximum height or at the apex, I can go ahead and uh, cross out my VFY squared because again it's zero. Now if I rearrange this equation to solve for dy and get it all by itself, I wind up with negative viy squared divided by 2ay. So plugging in my initial velocity in the y direction of 29.4 meters per second and my acceleration in the y direction of negative 9.81 meters per second squared, I wind up with a displacement in the y direction of 44.1 meters.